Funny, I forgot to write down coordinates. Let me see where, where I'm at here. Um, so, I just want to show how I've begun the process. I already made one video, so this is video two. Um, now I'm trying to find my damn alliance. I'm trying to remember where they are. Um, and also, you just got to look and look and look and repeatedly looking at the map so that it becomes memory. A lot of people get anxiety. They don't really know what it is there to do. Haven't really gotten the skills or used to doing it. Um, I only built my alliances in the past, I guess, because I had gotten some sort of knack for it. Um, that's not, I haven't even seen them yet, which all my bookmarks should be clear, I think, by now. I think when you, uh, um, merge, all your bookmarks get cleared, yeah. Alright, so, right now I'm looking for my farm line, so I can kind of try and explain to you guys what I've done, um, possibly I'm spending extra time doing it this way, but can't be switching, uh, switching up accounts while I'm on here, so let me tell you, um, I wasn't sure because the message came through in Russian about the merge, I was never sure, and I haven't been talking to many people, um, was never sure exactly when it was, and if it was starting last night's reset or t tonight's reset. Now I'm not familiar with that alliance. So what I'm doing is doing the lazy way. Alright, here it is. Alright, so I found. Here's my alliance. Alright, um... So, you can see now, all my farms are here. Alright, some of them got attacked in the short time that I was asleep. Some of them are still shielded. Um, I can't exactly tell you how long. Actually, it was a friendly that attacked one of them. Um, so, I put all my farms here. I put my attack march on a tile. And then I reinforced the next um, full amount that it autoed. So, because that's all the highest tier will automatically be your full march queue when you march at the fort. So the first thing you want to do is get your full attack march, your best march out. Whether it's going to be that you're going to be gathering or whatever. But then you want to hide the next ones. Um, the bottom T1, T2s, they, they are so easy to replace. So, those were my steps. Um, after finding a consolidated place... That is in an area that's not going to be too high in demand. Alright, and I'm going to search it around it. And you see how I place this with two tiles. Two tiles right there. And then one right next to it. And then there's another one here. Another one here. And then it connects down. And you have to be quick with this stuff. But you can already see we've got... You can also pay attention to the level of alliance and know how strong they are. Because you're going to be fighting some of them. Um, but the bottom line is, even if you're not getting the best placement the first time, you have to start. Um, because nobody's going to negotiate with you later. They'll act like they would. You'll be, if you want to own your own alliance, you have to get out there and get started. Um, so that you're putting your place somewhere. Take your place on the map and... Be as smart as you can to cover as many as you can. Look, this hall's already on fire, already being lit up. Now, it takes days to kill an Alliance Hall. Okay. Sweetie, stay out of that stuff. All right, so I haven't talked to anybody. I sent out a mail to see who is in my Alliance.
Um, it's a lot of language barrier in this alliance. It's a merge of a bunch of the less actives. Where am I exactly? So what I'm going to be doing now, now that I'm waiting, oh, and I forgot to say it, there's a two-hour timer between flags. Buildings you can pull down, wait for the cooldown, and then replace. So if you are waiting on a two-hour flag timer, and it's a smart time to do it, you can block a tile with a building, and then as soon as you your flags are ready, you can take down that building, plant your flag, and then by the time it cools down, you'll have it available to block another one. So what I'm going to be doing now is taking this time to search around where I've put my alliance and see what I'm going to have to run into. And I'm already looking at roadblocks, but if I cut through the middle of them, um, this is going to be a problem right here. Alright, so let's find their alliance for it. Alliance uh, Hall. Okay, we're going to mark them. And I just mark. I don't really care whether it's enemy or friendly unless I'm sure. So let's see how close they are and which way they're going. So they're killing this. So they're going to want to expand this way. So how far am I? I'm over here. So I'm going to have to try to expand around them in the direction I'm going I'm trying to go through here they're probably going to take out these guys and make their effort useless here's a tile that I'd like to go to but it's right next to them so how, how do we play smart we're going to have to so now that I've already placed here I can go and I can start placing another to block but really, ultimately, I'm going to want to expand outward away from them. But now I need to find new clusters. New places where these farms will be. Or new, these tiles will be. It's not a fun process. Uh, And you just have to keep looking and looking until you can remember. Alright, so I know about these. But what's further this way? Okay. Alright, here's a level 2. Looks like a blocker. Booger, you make too much noise. So it looks like I've got a little bit of a battle ahead of me. Now what I can do is go to the map, search the other areas around. Let's see. Let's see if they're see they're already building up everywhere. THC. This is why you can't wait. That looks like a good spot right there. Eight hundred six seventy eight. I'm going to mark that. What I'm going to do is if I see that I'm running into a mission impossible, I have to move quick. And what I could do is start another <coughs> alliance or help a friend with theirs. So let me get on that. Flip around. There's one of my guys right there. Um, and I'll be back with an update. Thanks for watching.